been great. Obviously, I've been in this camp now for at this gym for four or five weeks um, since the last since the last fight. Uh, just moved up here as well, up to up to Stratford, so I'm nice and close, uh, which is is ideal. It's uh, got my wife up here with me, and yeah, um, I'm really nicely settled now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungrier now more, more than ever, and I know it's a bit of a cliche statement, but I really am. I'm doing a lot more in the gym now. I'm trying to perfect the little things even more so than before, whereas sometimes I guess I was just getting through sessions and things, and I'm much more meticulous in my training and putting more hours in and more rounds in um, and spending more time in the gym. And that might be because now I'm settled up here, I'm only around the corner. I can add, add extra bits in. So. Um, it's exciting for me, the future, and I'm just really, in my head, I'm nailed on and just improving and getting to world level. You know, when you get announced as, as a defending champion and, and current British and Commonwealth and defending European, that'll, that'll be a, a nice moment for me. I, I, I try and appreciate those moments as much as I can. You sort of can't really, in the moment, you sort of watch it back on TV and then you can appreciate it a bit more because obviously you're switched on in the moment. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice feeling to, to hear those words. No, I thought um, he definitely surprised me. He was harder to, he's much more elusive than I thought he'd be. He was harder to nail clean. I, th I thought I'd be able to hit him cleaner and I didn't really catch him that clean throughout the flight, fight, even when, you know, in I think it was the fifth round, I had, had him hurt a bit and fifth or sixth round had him hurt a bit and he was, but he was still very elusive and, and very tricky and always, always coming back with shots. So uh, no respect to, to Tommy, you know, everything that was said and, in the build-up was sort of squashed straight after the fight. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it, it did surprise me a little bit. I knew his style, we didn't really, his style didn't really change. He was just better at the things I knew he, he, he could do uh, than I thought he would be. Yeah, uh, obviously it's a, another world title undercard. I've been, been fortunate enough to be you know, on, on a few now. Um, and last time I was on Terry Harper's undercard against Natasha Jonas last year, which was uh, obviously an unbelievable fight. And then we've got Kid Galahad as well. So um, those sort of fights and getting to travel around the country and getting exposed to new fans, I'm excited about. Um, I've been up to Sheffield to GB assessments before when I was an amateur and boxed in Rotherham a couple of times, which is obviously just down the road. Um, but I'm excited. I like traveling. I like going around the country. Um, obviously, my, my dream is to box back home and bring a, uh, a show to Bournemouth, but can't be done yet. So um, now I'm looking forward to the 13th and, and going into to Sheffield. Yeah, it's brilliant. You know, it's uh, been great to have him in the gym and I've been fortunate enough before to have the likes of the world champions in the gym but then when it's someone in your own weight it's really motivational and inspiring for me. He's done such a great job in his career, he's never looked so uncomfortable in his career in the sense of you know never looked like he's going to lose a fight um, or anything like that and long may it continue um, and he's been yeah like I said it, it is inspirational and motivating to have him in the gym. It's always exciting when when uh, when I'm fighting. So uh, expect excitement, but and expect a class of performance. And still.